This is Matt here with Mail Express Radio, and I have Chris from Skeletal Remains. How are you doing today, man? Hey, man, I'm doing great. Thanks for, thanks for taking the time and thanks for the call. Of course, thank you as well. First question I have for you, the band just released a new single and video for Elusive Divinity. This is going back to July 10th. What kind of feedback have you since received? Great feedback, man. I can't, I can't. I mean, it's mostly been positive feedback, you know, a little bit negative stuff here and there for some people. I mean, mostly I think it's just trolling people, but yeah, for the most part, it's been good. Um, we put our pre-orders live that day, the day it got, uh, got released on July 10th, and we sold a shitload of records. We sold out of all the color color vinyl that we had limited to the band, and yeah, it's been great, man. I'm, I'm pretty stoked to, to release the next one, and I'm stoked to see people people think that on the rest of the, the album. How'd that come about having this be the first song that you released to the fans for the, from the upcoming album? Well, it was, it's actually the opening track, and I feel like this track kind of like gives you an idea for what the rest of, what the, what the, rest of the record will be like. So I, that's kind of how we went about choosing this song to be the first single. We kind of just wanted to uh, give a people a taste of what the rest of the, the record is going to be like. How was uh, the writing process having this being the band's fourth album? So, actually, the first four songs were already written. Um, I had already written the first four songs, and then we had a lineup change. And then when we got the lineup change, I, I mean, it's, it, it, for the first four songs, it actually took me about, I mean, I want to say maybe about a year to write just those first four songs because I was doing it all by myself. We were touring pretty much all the time as well, so that probably had a lot to do with it. But as soon as, you know, we got the new lineup, which is, you know, when, when Mike came in the band, which is the new guitar player, well, not really new because he's he's actually the one that started the band with me, but he left for some time and, you know, he came back. So when he came back in the band, when we started writing the next four or five songs, you know, I was actually pretty surprised by how quickly we got it done because we got the rest of the record done within the matter, in the matter of just like, I don't know, six weeks, two months. Everything went so smooth, you know. Everything came like came out naturally, and, and uh, yeah, it was actually a pretty quick experience. You know, we didn't really take that long. As, I mean, as long as I did when you know I was when I wrote the first four songs. But but yeah, everything went well, and then um, then Noel put some input on with the lyrics. For the most part, you know, the music is just me and Mike. But uh, Noah helped Noah, which is also the new bass player, in that helped a lot with the lyrics. And, me and Mike as well, uh, you know, we're kind of lyrics together, but, but yeah, it, it went really well. I'm pretty shocked with how fast we got the second half of the record written. The band actually just put out a casting call for an upcoming music video to be filmed. How did that uh, come about, and what kind of response have you received from the fans? We're actually filming a video this weekend, two videos actually, and um, we were looking for some people to, you know, hop out with some of the, you know, narratives stuff that we're doing for the video, you know. We wanted, obviously, we, we, we could have done it ourselves, you know, do the acting ourselves, we wanted to find different like different people to do the whole storyline thing that we have for, for each video. But yeah, I mean, we got we got hit up like crazy about it, like for people to be to be part of it, but we, we found the, the people, were, I mean, we mostly all the people that we were getting, all the submissions, we, I was just sending them to the director because the director had a, a better idea of what kind of a look he was going for and what kind of look he wanted for each of the, each one of the people that he wanted in the video. So, so yeah, it went well. I mean, we, I mean, we locked everyone in a few days ago, like a, a the day after we did that post. And yeah, I'm quite stoked to, to see the end result and see how, how everything turns out. But yeah, the fact the fact we had a lot of uh, a lot of people hitting us up. Even I mean, to, even until now, there's still people hitting us up. But yeah, we're kind of just telling we, we've already locked in the people we needed. And, and yeah, we're quite we're shocked by everybody that you know that was uh, reaching out to uh, to help out with it. And given everything with the pandemic going around around the world, how have you and the band been keeping in touch and staying busy? We've mostly been, yeah, I mean, we haven't really been well, jamming that much. We kind of started, we, well, we did, it was kind of, it was kind of crazy because the, like the whole lockdown and the whole, when everything started like barely happening was literally the day before we were supposed to go in and start tracking the album. So actually the whole pandemic and all that, kind of interfered with us recording the album. The drummer that we used, uh, Charlie, which is a good friend of ours, he's actually out in Portland, which is a two hour flight from LA. So he was already in town rehearsing the record. I think the day that the city went on lockdown was the day, the night before we were supposed to go into the, you know, to record. So 
the studio where we were record, where we recorded the album was actually a little bit iffy about continuing tracking there and doing the record. So we weren't sure if it was going to happen. Luckily, you know, the the studio was okay with at least just tracking drums there. So we were able to track the drums there since Charlie was already in town and you know he had to fly back home in a couple of days. We couldn't really push it or anything. So they were cool with us tracking the drums there. And um, due due to the pandemic, we didn't finish the rest of the record there. We actually did. All of the all of the tracking for the guitars and the bass and the vocals um, from our personal studio at home, we did everything DI and we sent all the you know all the tracks to to the studio where we tracked drums and they reamped everything there and we did vocals in a different studio uh, friends uh, studio of our friends so it kind of was a crazy experience due to the whole pandemic thing but you know we got it done but yeah besides that I mean we kind of we haven't really been jamming we're actually gonna be jamming today for the first time in i don't know maybe two months since the record was actually recorded we're gonna be jamming today to get ready for the shooting tomorrow make sure we have everything down and all that but but yeah i mean it's definitely affected us as far as you know jamming and being able to hang out together we have we don't really hang out that as much as we'd want we'd like to just because of you know we want to we want to be careful and you know a lot of us have family that you know that's more at risk and stuff so so we want to try and uh, you know be somewhat cautious and protect our loved ones and stuff so but yeah what do you see with the band moving forward when all is safe in the world hopefully i mean as soon i'm hopefully once everything's done i mean i hope we're able to go back on the road and uh you know tour this this album because it would suck to you know release this album and not be able to tour you know that's, that's kind of the way things have been for us for the past few records so that's kind of like what we're looking forward to most is getting out and playing playing this music live so Hopefully we're able to do that as soon as possible and yeah, to go out and hang out with fans and you know, play some shows, do all that fun stuff. From being in a band that's toured with everyone from Obituary to the Black Dahlia Murder to Municipal Waste to Hate Breed, what have been some of your favorite tours? Definitely Obituary. Obituary and Hate Breed, that was, I mean, just because the Obituary is obviously a big influence to us and you know, being able to tour one of, with one of our favorite bands has, has been you know, a highlight of our career, you know, and um, uh, yeah, the, that tour in general was just fucking awesome, you know, so many, so many new fans that we've, you know, we've, we've met, and it, it was just, every show was packed, and it was it was really, really fun, that that has to be probably my favorite tour to, to this day, but besides that, the Municipal Waste Tour in Europe was freaking awesome as well, you know, that was a killer package, it was Municipal Waste, Toxic Holocaust, and Enforcer, so you had some of the greats from, from each genre, you know, of, of music. So yeah, that was really fucking fun. Um, all the, most of the shows are pretty much sold out. And great people to tour with. Same with the obituary and Avery tour. Like great people. And we had nothing but fun on, on on both of those tours. And I mean, all the tours that we've done. I mean, they've all been amazing. But definitely, I think obituary will take it for me just because you know it's obituary, and that's a really big influence on myself and on the band as well. For those unfamiliar with the band, what album would you suggest someone to check out first? The newest record, because I feel it's our strongest material to day, like to day. However, it is a little bit different, I think, from the last few records. So I don't know, man. I, w- I would say you know just check out whichever, whichever one and see if you like it. I mean, I think each one of our records is different from from each other, you know. So. I feel like, yeah, I mean, some, some people might be a fan of their first record and might not like the second record because it's a little bit different, you know. And same with the rest, you know. Some people might like our second record and not the newest one because it's, I feel it's, it's, it's different from, we, you know, each record we try we try not to repeat ourselves, you know. We try to do something different. We obviously try to stick to death metal and Skelter Remains and what Skelter Remains is, you know. And, but, yeah, I don't know. I would say, you know, check out, just check out our newest record see what you think about that. With 2020 about halfway over, what have um, been some of your favorite albums that have been released so far? That's a hard one. I, I haven't, I haven't really been spinning uh, any music recently because I've been so busy. I mean, the last couple of months spinning our mixes and trying to get everything per- perfected. That I don't even think I've, I've been listening to any of this stuff. But at least not any releases in 2020. But I can tell you some some of the newer bands that I've been listening to. Um, one of them bands that I've been listening to a lot lately is the band I think they're somewhere in Europe I want to say maybe maybe Denmark I'm not sure somewhere in Europe but uh they're called Halas uh they're like uh more of like uh I don't even know how to explain what style of music I would say just check it out but yeah I've been spinning their latest record um I've been spinning the latest uh, vampire record I've been listening to um 
half folks from Denmark a lot. I don't think they're, I mean, they're not records that were released this year, but, you know, they're more New York records, I think, last year. I've been listening to that band a lot. Hyperdontia. Uh, another great death metal band I've been listening to it, uh, recently. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's kind of like most of the stuff I've been spinning nowadays. Last question I have for you. If you could create a uh, big four of death metal, who would it be? Of current bands or any bands even, like, they're not active anymore. Any band. Any band, definitely. Uh, Obviously, Death, Morbid Angel, um, Pestilence, definitely like the consum- consuming impulse there. If it could be like that, Pestilence, that'd be the fucking shit. And probably, uh, maybe Gorgas, more of like considered dead, Erosion of Sanity era. That would be like my, I think, my, my big four of Death Metal. Awesome, thank you. It's been great talking to you. I appreciate your time. So, uh, yeah, man, thank you very much.